I remember when Harry Reid's chief of staff came over to announce that Obamacare had been passed and there was a reception for Americans living overseas at the House of Commons. A lot of us asked him, why didn't you consult us when we live with a healthcare system that works? There has been an impression from the Brits that we're offering Obamacare is a health care system. It is not. It was supposed to be affordable insurance, and actually it's turned out to be unaffordable insurance. Republicans Overseas is a rather new group. There were members from the Republican National Committee that realized they needed to have a stronger connection with the Republicans living overseas. Um, where the Democrats abroad is considered the 51st state because they're funded by the Democratic National Committee, Republicans overseas is self-funding. When you are tied to the national committee on either side, you fall under the same restrictions that anyone in the states falls under. So for example, if I wanted to take a Brit to the film group that Democrats Abroad has, they could not accept any money from a non-American. Now I happen to have two Brits on my board because they absolutely love the American political system. They are leading our absentee vote campaign. They are passionate about it. And that gives us greater flexibility because no one from any other nationality could contribute um, or have any kind of leadership role in Democrats abroad. We, for 10 days, had the first international online straw poll and we ended up having votes from 64 countries and over 11,000 people. It was actually Rubio and Senator Paul that led in the overseas minds of the Republicans. In 2012, only 348,000 overseas Americans voted. At that time, it was 6.9 million living overseas. We're now 8.7 million. We would be the 13th largest state if we voted as a body. What the Democrats abroad and Republicans overseas have to do is reach out to every single American living overseas so that they do have their voice, so that they request their absentee ballot and they vote.